Hi guys, welcome to Rehome the Podcast, and this is episode one. You are very welcome. The podcast is going to take the format of me talking to myself, <laughs> not in an insane way, hopefully, but um, it's a self-motivation. What I've realised over the years of trying to get my act together, trying to get my ass in gear, is that it doesn't happen overnight. And when you think you've cracked it and you know, all systems go, productive, um, positive, etc., you know what happens uh, after a few days, you sort of can't get out of bed again and you're depressed. And if you're anything like me, then that will be a normal occurrence for you. A uh, sort of roller coaster ride between getting all positive and <clears throat> getting stuff done and flopping onto the couch or sofa, whatever you call it, and either picking out watching too much TV or sleeping or boozing, whatever it is that helps you pass the time of day and go completely unconscious and completely forget everything, forget yourself and uh, just be in a depressed state of mind. And sometimes, you know, it's not easy to even admit that to yourself, that you're actually struggling. Um, but contrary to all the Instagram posts of people um, with wonderful suntans, picking flowers in the park um, with their besties and their poodles, um, life isn't always a bed of roses. Anyway, Rehone is designed for me personally I'm my own guinea pig to <clears throat> actually make a genuine transformation in this lifetime not just some fad type thing where you uh, try a few things and they don't work and then you just go back to square one or you become really successful mega successful but unfortunately you neglected certain areas of your psychology and you were just running away from yourself so what does it mean to rehone? Um, well, the analogy is like a aircraft pilot. Now, if he leaves the controls alone, then the aeroplane itself is going to go off target. And he has to keep bringing it back to the center so that the aeroplane goes in the proper direction. What happens if he doesn't do that? The plane crashes, he dies, everyone else dies. So there's two elements at play here. One is where you don't want to go, where you definitely don't want to go into the side of a mountain or into the sea, and where you do want to go. You want to go to your destination, of course. So how are you going to end up at your destination if you don't keep rehoning, retargeting the controls in your life? Now, you might have gone way off course because you're kind of AWOL. You know, you're not at the races. You've neglected your finance. You've neglected your physical fitness. You've neglected your mental health. You've neglected your relationships. You've neglected your spirituality, if you believe in that kind of thing. And you might well be uh, about to you know, glide down into a deep dark forest where you're going to crash and loads of uh, big scary animals are going to eat you. And that's why I say it's never too late to rehome because once you grab those controls again, you can put yourself on a good trajectory to get back to where you are on course to where you want to go. And once you even start to get back on course you're going to feel better about yourself it's not that you have to get right back on course immediately but when you start to get when you make improvements when you start getting back on course then you're going to feel the benefits and you're going to feel happier so for instance let's say i've been having a hard time mentally I've, i'm not at the races i've gone a well the controls of out of my hands now what can i do to you know, take control. Well, maybe I'll just start meditating for half an hour a day um, to start with and see what happens. 
Because if you meditate one day, instead of wasting the entire day, the next day you're going to feel that little bit better about yourself because you think, you will think, ah, oh, yeah, yesterday not much changed, but at least I meditated. So that was good, and that will give you positive impetus moving forward. Or say I'm grossly overweight, um, and I've been binging on junk food for days on end, or weeks on end, or years on end. What can I do about it? Okay, so how about, okay, at least I'm going to skip breakfast every day or skip evening meal. Or at least I'm going to have a healthy lunch every day. I can get back to my junk food in, in the evening. Inch by inch, you can give yourself a healthier prospect. Sometimes we desperately try and get on a crash diet or we think I'm going to change my life completely uh, on Monday or tomorrow it starts tomorrow but I believe that to do things incrementally is a much better way forward and we always have to remember that now might not be our time like for me I've tried to start projects many times and I failed miserably and gone back to square one and being completely depressed and actually years have gone by so don't be ashamed if years have gone by in your life uh, where you don't feel you've had a grasp on anything or you don't feel that you've achieved anything because there is always more time to achieve things so a couple more things I want to mention to you um, keep this podcast short is you may not be in a situation where you feel like you can muster up any motivation and you actually don't really feel like you want to move forward. Um, Deep down, you probably do want to get to grips with life because that's what we're here for, ultimately. Um, If you look at it in quite a harsh way, the more you hide, the more you sort of go into a coma, um, out the controls of a plane, because like it or not, you are flying that plane. You know, if you're born into this world, you're flying the plane through life. So maybe it's simply our vision of what we expect and what we think that our life uh, should be like is the thing that's really kind of pissing us off or is really just deterring us from enjoying life. Um... You know, obviously you go to school and you're taught algebra, etc, etc. You either have an affinity for those subjects and you really succeed, or you actually don't and there's not much else for you to think about. But if you sit down and you practice some inner silence, or you just sit for half an hour, and you say, okay, I don't really, I'm not really enjoying life, but... What could it be? I'm open to surprises and I'm open to new thoughts, maybe thoughts that I've never had before, new visions or new imaginations of what life could be like for me. You may well find that those things will start turning up in life and you'll have new inspirations and fresh ideas and you might slowly or quickly start discovering what your actual real interests are and how you can turn that into a lifestyle. Because after all, motivation um, can only work if you've got a percentage of it. You know, like a lot of us go to work, we don't really like the work we're doing, but we've got the motivation that we need the money to survive. But that kind of motivation can only last so long before you just get fed up and think, well, I'd rather have no money than actually go to that job where the boss treats me like crap, etc. Um, So you have to find your raison d'etre, your, not reason, I mean, people say, oh, you've got to find your why, and it's so cheesy. You don't have to find your why. You've just got to find some kind of purpose that's going to make you happy that's going to make you feel a little bit satisfied 
something you know creative you can put your put your paw print on and say this is what I do um, that's the thing that's going to get you out of bed in the morning okay so we've hit the 10 minute mark um, I hope you enjoyed this it was just an introductory uh, podcast and uh, please uh, like subscribe and get notifications if you want to keep up with uh, the stuff that I do and uh, thanks for listening and have a good day